Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. So can you tell us a little bit about your PBS show and um, how you got the idea for it? Oh, okay. Well, um, it's called Wild Kratts, and one of the things every episode features a never-before-seen animal moment. And the reason we got the idea for it was we've been traveling and filming animals uh, for the last 10 to 15 years. And no matter where we go, the wilds of Botswana, you know, diving, um, you know, on a coral reef, there's always been animals and animal behaviors that we've never been able to film. We know they exist. We know animals are doing these things, but you can't just film it with, you know, we just don't have the technology to do it yet, or it would take too long in the field to, to get lucky enough. So we realized with animation, we could show all this stuff. We could show a sperm whale battling a giant squid at 6,000 feet below the sea. We could get miniaturized and go into flowers, you know, where all these things happening, you know? So that gave us the idea to do our animated series. Now, you brought some great friends for us to meet today. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. you this, this is a kinkajou. George the kinkajou. <laughs> and that's it. Heard of it all. prehensile tail. It can wrap right around. Wow. It's holding on to me. I'm not even holding on to him. <laughs> and he's just hanging there. And this is the animal that I think Martin mentioned earlier <laughs> that pollinates flowers. Oh, yeah. really? And that's what he does. Say there's a branch, there's a flower here and a tree. He'll hang down. Does he do it on and, accident or on purpose? And leave the nectar out. <laughs> do you want to hold him? He's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> you really have no choice. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's so good. It's related to a raccoon from Central. Oh, look at that tongue. Yeah, the super long tongue. This is a young tiger cub, eight eight weeks old. Amazing. He just woke up from his nap. <laughs> there you go. He actually, he's most comfortable when he's held like that. <laughs> so these guys are so rare and wild. Look at those because oh, that kind of coloring. They just it's hard for them to survive. So, yeah, there's only about one in ten thousand in the wild that so are. So are they smaller. mostly on um, wildlife preserves? Yeah, and, and yeah. education programs and zoos. Well, thank you both so much for uh, chatting with Parentage today. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thanks, Colleen. Okay,